This is Mr. Burley from St. Elizabeth Catholic School. And what I want to show you today is how to create a program in EasyC using ver version 4 for the Cortex to push the button, send it input, and then, and then begin a routine of, of some sort or other. So in this situation, the way I've done it is I have operator control. Let's start with there. Operator control, I have just the two threaded tank, dragged it right over, it didn't make any changes. Then I went to autonomous and I created my routine. We'll get back to that in a second. The main is my autonomous program is going to run for 30 seconds, after which time I can run the operator control. Um, now let's start with the autonomous. Uh, actually, let's go back to bump to start. Now you notice I got this from over here. This is a user function. User functions are simply subroutines that you can create and use time and time again. I like doing that. It really simplifies your project and your programs. Um, now in here I have, this is my subroutine, my bump to start that I created already. And under the variables I have integer, bumper, and in the comment it's just simply a comment, bumper in port 1, and you can see it's here, um, bumper in port 1. Uh, it just tells me where it is, and I know mine's in port 1. Now, I create a while loop here. So while this is true, it'll just keep running this loop over and over and over. And the, the while loop is this. If the bumper equals 1, which means it's not pressed, bumper not pushed, then it will just keep running this routine over and over and over again. Now in this routine, I have dragged over under inputs. I have a digital input. I dragged it over. And that digital input is the bumper, and it's digital input one. It's telling the, unit, the, the system to monitor digital input one looking for a change of condition. Now, digital input number one, retrieve it to the bumper. You can comment it if you want. I didn't at this moment in time. But basically, it's monitoring this to look for a change of state. It says, keep running it while it's one, while it's not pushed. But when it's pushed, then get out of this while loop and continue on. So that's exactly what we've done. Okay, now down here, some people put right in here, drag a timer and put a 50 millisecond timer in there or a 100 millisecond timer just to slow down this, this while loop to give it an opportunity to see that change of state, change in state. I found that it's, it works fine without it. I guess it depends on how fast you hit that uh, the push button. But as long as you push the button and give it a second to, to latch, then it's good. Down here I have a wait 3,000 milliseconds or 3 seconds uh, and that's just before it starts the next routine so it gives you an opportunity to move back or position the robot or whatever you want to do before it's, it, it takes off. So again that's a user function bump to start. I started that and it's a separate one. Now I go into autonomous. This is the this is where it fits in. So I have in here my under my variables I have my unsigned integer and distance and I have my uh, inter integer and bumper. I've added this one right here for this routine because I have the ultrasonic sensor. So I'm going to turn the ultrasonic, this whole program is going to turn the ultrasonic sensor on and run it after I push the button. It's going to start moving forward looking for a distance of, of more than 12 inches and it's going to keep running the motor until the distance is less than 12 inches and then it'll stop. So here's how it works. The ultrasonic sensor, uh, you've probably gone over this before, but basically before the while loop you get it started. You, I have mine on interrupt port 3 and output port 11. Um, you can comment it if you want. I haven't. I do recommend commenting. So while while true, while the distance is greater than 12 inches, it's going to run this program. It's going to come down here, through here, and it's saying, okay, this if it's more than 12 inches, then run the motor forward. And I, you can see I've got a rub, sub subroutine, and just keep running that over and over and over, and keep going forward, keep going forward until the sensor returns a value of less than 12. And the way that's set up is here again. Um, I get it and interrupt port 3, output port 11. And then if you come down here, I've got it in my if statement. It says distance is greater than 12, run it forward. So this, this will run true, will keep running true until it's less than 12 and it returns a value of less than 12. And then if it does, if it to returns a value of less than 12, it will stop the program. Okay, now where this fits in, where my bump to start is, if I took this out, and ran this program, as soon as I turned it on and pushed a button on the controller, it would start going forward until it, and it would run this routine. But because I put the bump to start in, it will wait for me. I push the button on the controller first, then I push the bump to start button, then it counts for three seconds, and then it goes. So that's how you do the 
that's how you get the uh, bump to start uh, to begin your program.